Okay, okay, we're rolling. We're here. Buenos dias and welcome back to another video, my friends. Hope you're staying healthy and I hope that you're staying safe wherever you are in the world. Today on the channel, I'm filming, I'm photographing, I'm taking photos of bad moon rising. Dun, dun, dun. I don't really know what I'm talking about. I just made up that name. That's the title of this video. The reality is I am back in the Fullerton Hills. Shot just here on my last video. You can uh, watch it right up here, I think. Yeah, that last video was shot right here. In fact, right in this area right here to shoot the mountains with the snow caps behind me. So I should probably stop right here anyways and fill you in. Woo. Okay, okay, I'm a little more composed. So, if you look behind me again, why I'm here today is, I was just gonna, I wanted to come shoot some photography, but this really made me wanna come out and just test myself and see if I can get something done. So, at 523, the moon should be rising right over the mountains right over here, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. And at 5.19, four minutes prior, on the west side of this area, the sun should be setting. So within four minutes, we're gonna have the sun setting and the moon rising, which I think is really cool. Now, the only issue I have here is I'm not gonna see that moon rise over that uh, ridge over there, only because there's clouds right above it. So that's gonna actually provide me a buffer of time maybe four, five, six more minutes. So as it gets over the clouds, if they're still there, I might be able to actually get something. Now, my plan is to shoot these individually. So I get a sunset shot and then I get a moonrise shot. But what I'd like to do, and this is, the, this is kind of the challenge of challenges, is to get a pano of at least the sunset. So shot over there, and then I'm gonna pan across here and try to get the moon rising. Now, my best thought is to shoot this wide, but if I shoot wide, the moon's gonna look like a little pea in a big ocean. I don't know when peas are in oceans. I mean, people do pee in oceans, but all right, focus problem. But I do wanna get this panel, but I just don't know how confident I am there. So what we are gonna do is we're gonna head up the hill here, get ready for sunset, and then try to figure out a composition for the sunset, moonrise, combo, pano. We'll see, we'll see. Maybe it's all for naught, I don't know. Let's get up this hill. All right, made it up here. This just might work. If I turn the camera this way, this is where the sun is gonna set. And then if I do a 180, basically right over here, where I was just down the hill a little bit, the moon's gonna rise right in that area. So I've got some options here. I just, uh, just I'm, frenz I'm in a frenzy or I'm hurried and I just, it's not a good way to do photography, but it's a challenge. I'm gonna to try to accept it. I'm gonna do a couple test shots, a couple test panos, and see, uh, I'm gonna pull out the 20 millimeter, but I think I might be able to get away with the 35 millimeter. And then as the moon rises, I might slap on the 800, but that's not my focus here today. I've been super happy shooting the 800. It makes you really think outside the box a little bit and, and kind of figure out what your uh, compositions need to be but that's not what today is again you can watch that video that I just did my last video on the 800 and kind of shooting unique compositions or staying in one place to shoot compositions okay I take this backpack off I'm gonna get set up let's get to it
All right, so the issue here is going to be, obviously we have a bright, bright uh, light source in this direction and it's super dark this way because of the clouds that are coming in. We have an impending storm coming in later tonight. Uh, so that can be some of the, or part of the issue here. So we'll do our best. I think I'm just going to tweak the exposure as we go through from left to right. So my best thinking right now is that towards the mountain area where the moon's gonna come up, and hopefully it holds up where the clouds don't completely consume that area. But if that holds up, I'm gonna stay at about ISO 200, I'm gonna stay at F16 throughout, and I'm just gonna work with my shutter speed to kind of push and pull the light here. Um, I'm actually going to overexpose by a little bit at 125th. Actually, it's, it's not bad. I'm, I'm up at the highlights, but I'm not, I'm not clipping yet. So I think that's going to be just fine there. I think that's fine there in that direction. I think that's fine here. It looks actually really good going that way. And the other thing in here is that the sun is actually gonna drop below those clouds. So that kind of might ruin the whole traditional, beautiful sunset look, but we'll do what we can out here and maybe we'll just get some nice color throughout and hopefully the moon at the very least shows itself in a nice, I mean, it's a full moon tonight. That's the bad moon rising. That's what I'm trying to tell you. It's a full moon tonight. So that's the other thing. Four minutes apart, sunset, moon rise. I mean, it might be a thing. I should know more about this since I'm, I come out and shoot photography and landscapes, but I don't. If you know something about that, tell me down in the comments below because I need to know. Honestly, um, my plans may be thwarted here. The clouds are really just starting to consume the skyline and just covering the sun. That's, that's kind of going away and it doesn't look like that's gonna give up. But I may be still be able to get, is that a good sentence? I still may be able to get a nice moon rise shot. So bad moon rising, still a good title. I don't know about this sun though, uh, it's looking bad. But the light over here, the light over here on the uh, Saddleback Mountains, I'm gonna go ahead and get a little bit of that while, uh, while we wait. All right, so we wait. We're about, what is it, 20 minutes until sunset, which again, I don't think that's gonna be a thing but we're about uh, 25 minutes from the moon, just getting over that little crest in the far distance, and then potentially probably another half hour after that before it gets beyond the clouds there. So we'll wait around, we'll stick around, and we'll see what we can get. Man, can you just, can you get excited about an idea and then it just not working out? Does that happen to you? All the time, every time, it's okay. All right, so here's the dealio. I wanted to get crack a lacking on some, some shots here, some, some sunset shots, but that's not gonna happen. We're gonna get some color. Here's the plan. Here's my new revamp plan. You gotta make the best out of the situation. So I'm gonna wait till the colors start to get really nice over here in this area, because I think the sky is really gonna light up. Uh, I think it's gonna fire up because there is a little bit of give between uh, the higher level clouds and then the horizon clouds completely covered. So the sun will light up that back portion and we'll have a nice, I think we'll have a nice sunset in terms of the color. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make my way down the hill over here and I'm just gonna focus on the beautiful colors that are over there on the, um, the snow caps. Now you can't see the snow caps anymore. Would have been nice. 
would have been nice for the moon to come right over those, but you know, we can't get everything all the time. We can try again tomorrow. But for today, I'm gonna to try to get that. I'm gonna focus on that. And that'll be in about a half hour after sun set, we'll get moon rise visible 100%, as long as it's not behind the clouds, of course. So uh, I'm making, uh, you know, peanut butter out of peanuts. I'm making uh, lemonade out of lemons. Uh, is that it? <laughs> I'm just, I don't know what I'm doing out here. We're gonna get it, we're gonna get it. Okay, the play is definitely the other way and I know I keep saying this and I guess I'm just trying to make a video out of this and it's gonna happen. The colors are really nice behind the camera here. However, I just feel like I came here, the, the sky is beautiful up, up here. Let me, let me give you a better look here. Like, check this out, I mean, wait, a little far. But look, this is, that's, that's nice. That's gonna be nice. The color's gonna be nice as long as that area right there stays open. That's gonna be beautiful. Sun's gone. We're not gonna see that again. But uh, I've been up here a couple times lately. Uh, downtown LA, you can't see it anymore. It's way over here. But this, my friends, right there, I'm gonna walk down the hill a little bit. This is, definitely this is definitely the play right here this is gonna get it right there we're gonna try it looks <laughs> I, I, I keep saying it's the play but the, the clouds just keep covering the mountains I don't know what I'm just gonna be out here just talking to myself with uh, with no pictures but I love talking to y'all and I appreciate you selecting and choosing the Buenos Dias imagery channel to watch every now and again. Uh, can I ask you while we're waiting here for a subscription, uh, give me a thumbs up if you're liking this video so far. Comment down below and let me know, uh, let me know your favorite color. Mine is blue. I'm feeling blue. <laughs> oh, come on, man. Come on. Okay, it's okay. We're gonna get this. I keep saying that because I feel confident. I, I feel like you have to manifest the good energy and that if you believe it, it will happen. Um, we're gonna get it. We're going to get it. The silver lining here is the pink lining, meaning that pink in that sky with all the different shades of blue, that is just beautiful. That just makes for coming out here. And even if nothing else shakes out, that my friends, that is a winner. I'm smiling under here, I'm smiling. All right, here's the update. The sun has officially set. It's behind the camera here because the color isn't that way. Mm -mm. It's, it's the layer of clouds has gotten bigger and bigger. I still think there's gonna be a lot of nice color in the sky right there, but over here, <laughs> it's just, it's not gonna work out, I don't think. The color, oh my goodness, the color. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a news story, a news flash right here. Wowzer, that, my friends, that's beautiful. That's beautiful just to look at. That, my friends, behind me is beautiful. But the clouds are consuming and eating up the snow-capped mountains. And I don't know when. I mean, the moon will rise, obviously. But I'm going to have to wait here a while before it actually gets up to anywhere where I can see it. Mother Nature is giving beautiful but has taken away as well and that's okay maybe I need to change the title of this video what would be the alternative name to the title I've committed to bad moon rising that's gonna be the title but write down in the comments below what should the title to this video be be nice be nice all right I've got my backpack on I've got my camera I'm gonna head down the hill a little bit and see if I can muster up any kind of photograph that I can put on the screen. 
I'd, I'd love to give it. Just let's let's go find out. Cause that way, that away, it is. Uh, yeah, that's what we're seeing out there. It's not gonna happen. So let's move on. So let's make our way down the hill a little bit and we'll see if we can capture anything and it's okay. You know, this is a great lesson for everybody that you go out to shoot something and, and if it's not well planned out, this wasn't super planned out. I knew there was a storm coming in, but I just thought it would wait till I took my shot, honestly, but it's okay. Um, I keep saying that because I really want to believe that. I should, I should just stop talking and just go get a nice shot. Let's go. All right, so what I figured out, still have some time before the moon tries to make its way through these clouds. I don't think that's gonna happen, but I'm gonna try to get an image with these cacti and the nice pink cloud back there and see if we can muster something up with the Canon EOS R and the 35 millimeter RF lens 1.8. What I'm thinking is that I'm going to stack this image and I'm going to shoot f8 and I'm going to lighten her up right here in the front. Okay, that was shot at about 1.3 seconds or one and a third of a second. I'm at f8. Now I'm going to focus on the background, try to get something way out in the distance and focus. That also was at one and a third of a second, and we'll see if we get something. It's on the screen right now. <laughs> if there's something blurry on the screen, it just means it didn't work out. <laughs> it's just been that kind of day. All right, well, sadly, this video is coming to an end. I checked the app again, and it is currently 538, and if I move it to 538, the moon, you can actually, you can actually start to see it popping over the, right where I have it set here on the app. There's a glow. There's a glow over the mountain. Let me, let me show you. So if you can see that glow right there, um, that is the moon and it's starting to pop up and it's actually popping up in a totally different area than I thought. Oh, I'm having problems. I need to recalibrate that app. And there is such a thing, I guess. Okay, well, I'm gonna wait a little little bit here and see what happens. Okay, and that is how you finish. What? It what it was oh my goodness, it was definitely worth the wait. It's beautiful. The striations of the clouds in front of the moon. So cool. We got it, we did something, we made something out of nothing. All right, I'm super happy. That's gonna do it. Please subscribe if you liked any part of this video. I'd, I'd really love your subscription. Uh, please like this video if you liked any part of it. Comment down below, uh, chat with me. I'd love for you to say hi, and please ring the bell when you're subscribed to notify you of new videos when they are posted. I love y'all. Thanks for hanging with me on this video. I had a blast. It was fun. Peace. You know what, now I just gotta figure out if the gate is open or closed to this kind of, um, it's kind of a walking kind of panoramic reserve, uh, nature preserve up here and uh, just hope it's open. Let's get out of here. Come on, the gate's gotta be open. The gate's gotta be open. Yes, the gate is open. I just wanna let you all know that I made it safely out of the gate, passing through the gate. We're doing it. There we go. Good night, y'all.